much. I want to welcome you back into Iggy Sports Talk, and thank you so much for tuning in. I am your host, Jake Iggy or Iggy for short, and woo, it feels good to say that. It's been a little bit since I have posted on this podcast. If you're still listening, tuning in, and supporting means the absolute world to me, and I've been a little bit busy over the last few months. That's just pretty much the main reason why I've been posting on this podcast. Uh, I'm currently right now the director of media content for a arena football team. Our season just ended and I also co-host a Red Sox podcast as five days a week. So something that I always preach on this podcast is focusing on your mental health and not overwhelming yourself. And that's exactly what I have been trying to do. Uh, because if I was going to post on this podcast, I, I wanted to make sure it was the best content. I was putting my full effort into it. And, and I wasn't just putting half effort into it. And now that I have a little bit more time on my hands, uh, I'm going to start recording and batching up some more episodes while also putting out some episodes as well to get some content out to you people and continuing to inspire others uh, to learn from people's journeys and learn how to overcome their mental health struggles and just the regular struggles of life. But I'm so excited to be back on this podcast and I have a very special episode planned for you guys. I had the opportunity to interview a uh, former Red Sox pitcher and now San Diego Padres pitcher, Jay Groom. Funny enough, I actually recorded this interview uh, for my Red Sox podcast and uh, pretty much on the day that I was going to be posting it on that podcast, Jay Groom got traded from the Boston Red Sox over to the San Diego Padres in a trade that sent Eric Hosmer to Boston. But I had a great conversation with Jay and I thought it would fit perfectly on this podcast. He talks a little bit about his journey and how he overcame some injuries after getting drafted uh, in the first round during the 2016 MLB draft to the Red Sox and really overcoming all the hype that was around his name and, you know, sort of the mindset that he goes into uh, in each and every single start and really how his journey has helped him be able to learn and build up his mental side of the game. But uh, I hope you guys do enjoy this interview and learn a little bit about uh, not only Jay the player, but Jay the person. Let's listen in. Talk a little bit about the support that you felt from Red Sox fans since getting drafted in 2016, especially now being up in Worcester with the crowd behind you last night. How did that feel? Uh, it's good. They always, uh, everyone always said Boston has the best fans, and I think they really do. Even from when I got drafted, I've, I had got dudes and people just DM me all the time, wishing me the best and hoping to see me in Boston soon. So it's nice uh, knowing that, the guys and the, and the girls in the stands have your back and want to see you succeed. We saw how much success you had last season with the Sea Dogs and now being able to have the opportunity to pitch in AAA. What specific things are you working on right now? Uh, mainly just still attacking the strike zone. I'm at my best when I'm filling up the zone and throwing everything with conviction in the zone. And uh, I think it's just a matter of me not trying to be too perfect when uh, the games on the line and just continuing to just trust myself and uh, you know when I do good things happen and sometimes when I get away from doing what I do good it, I get into a little bit of trouble but now uh, as opposed to my younger self would probably give up right away now I just know okay like continue to stick to the game plan that guy that guy just flat out beat you or you just got away from the zone and walked him but if I just continue to pound the strike zone, good things always usually happen. And speaking about your younger self, you've had an unusual journey to get here to Worcester. And you, so, you know, looking back, what has been some of the biggest lessons you've learned through your journey with the Red Sox so far, go, overcoming injuries and being able to be as successful as you have over the last few years? Uh, mainly just be yourself. Don't try and change who you are for anybody. And I think the biggest thing for me, especially going through Tommy John rehab was just take every day as its own day. Don't don't look too far ahead. And that mindset helped me get into the mindset when I'm on the mound, take it batter by batter and pitch by pitch. So when all is going good and I'm slowing the game down and going at my pace, that's usually when everything's going my way. So if I could keep that and have a lot of things go my way, can control what I can control, we'll be in good shape. 
you can really see you having fun, the smile on your face from the energy that, that you know you can feel around the building. But uh, something that I like to do with these interviews is help Red Sox fans learn a little bit about you as a person. So um, what, what is maybe some random fact that Red Sox fans might not know about Jake Room? Uh, I'm an avid golfer. <laughs> I'm trying to, trying to work on my golf game a little bit. Um, I like fishing. I did. Uh, I grew up uh, largemouth bass fishing, so it was cool to uh, experiment that in Maine. I'm hoping on one of these off days to get out and fish the waters up here, see what see what they got to offer in terms of largemouth. But uh, yeah, just uh, golfs and fishing I like to do, and then just hanging home with my wife and my daughter, going somewhere with my daughter. Uh, Sometimes we try and find like zoos for her and just anything that keeps her busy. Awesome, man. Keep up the great success. Appreciate really it. appreciate it. You as well. Seriously, man, your, your journey has been really inspiring. I hope that you guys did enjoy my interview and conversation with San Diego Padres pitcher Jake Room and got to learn a little bit about his journey in Jay as a person. It, it was great to talk to him, learn a little bit about uh, his journey and what he's learned and how he's overcome some of his struggles throughout his career. But now that, you know, Iggy Sports Talk is back up and rolling, I'm so excited to start posting more episodes for you guys. I, I have a lot planned. I have, I have a lot of interviews that I've I've had uh, in the vault that I've just been waiting to post. Uh, some of them I, I recorded, you know, back in 2021 at, at the start of 2022 before my schedule really started to uh, – load up a lot but uh had some great conversations and and i'm so excited to be back on this podcast and i'm, I'm gonna make sure that uh i don't take as much of a hiatus uh for after this episode uh, as i did before uh and i i've just missed so much being able to be on this podcast have real conversations and to be able to uh, you know, hear your guys' thoughts as well. You know, one of my favorite things about doing this podcast is being able to get message from you, the listeners, on how much you enjoy these conversations and how they help you uh, be able to, you know, apply some of these lessons to your own life. Uh, that's really what it's all about. But so excited uh, for everything that I have planned uh, for the next few months uh, for this podcast. I just started actually uh, recording a brand new series called the Friends Series, where I have real conversations uh, with friends talking about some deep stuff. So buckle up, get ready for that stuff. But I don't know if I'm going to be posting weekly at the moment just because my schedule still is very busy, but uh, I'm going to do my best to do every other week if I can, but uh, definitely look out for those and uh, continue supporting. I, I really do great, greatly appreciate it, but uh, we'll end this episode. Uh, I, I want to do sort of like a new like ending, but uh, you know, you're enough, you're loved. And uh, at the end of the day, you're exactly where you're supposed to be. Everything is happening exactly how it's supposed to in your life. And, Live each day to the fullest and uh, love yourself. At the end of the day, that's the most important thing. But as always, greatly appreciate everybody tuning in. And uh, we'll see you next time.